Hi, my name is Devdat Patnaik. If you live in India and you travel in India, you cannot miss the gods. They are there everywhere. Whether you are in a taxi, whether you are in a bus, whether you go to a temple, whether you are in someone's house or a business establishment, you find the poster art of the gods everywhere. Shiva, Vishnu, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga. I've often wondered how these images of the gods emerged over time. Were they always like this? How did they look 500 years ago, 1000 years ago, 2000 years ago? What about the Vedic period? This series explores the history of mythology. In today's episode, we will focus on Brahma. Brahma is the creator of the world. When you see his poster today, he looks like an old man with four heads, four hands, seated on a lotus flower, sometimes holding instruments of the yagya. When did this image first appear in Indian history? Now, Brahma is found in the Vedas. We hear of Purusha, Prajapati performing the yagya, creating the world, but there are no images from the Vedic period. In fact, the first image of Brahma that we see comes from the Buddhist tradition. In the times of the Kushans, we see these caskets where Brahma is shown as bowing to the Buddha. But here, Brahma is an old sage with two hands and one head, like a normal human being. The first time we see Brahma with many heads is in the Gupta period. In the Mathura region, we find artworks which depict the creator with four heads next to Vishnu, perhaps even rising from Vishnu's navel. Gradually, we start seeing images of Brahma as performing the wedding of Shiva and Parvati. We see this image in Elephanta in the 6th century, in Elora in the 8th century, So you see, Brahma's images are appearing as subordinate first to Buddha, then to Vishnu, then to Shiva. And finally, in the Shilahara period, around 10th, 11th century, along the western coast of India, we find temples with independent images of Brahma. Four heads, four arms, independently standing. He's one of the Hindu trinity. So you have images of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva standing uh, next to each other. You have images in Khajurao and Hoysala art around the 10th, 11th century, uh, which is seated with Saraswati by his side. So now he has a consort. He is seen as equal as the creator, with Vishnu as the preserver, Shiva as the destroyer. And finally, when you start seeing paintings like miniature paintings, Pattachitra, you suddenly find images of Brahma associated with the swan, associated with a goose. This image starts appearing of the Brahma. And you see this transformation from the one-headed, two-armed, sage-looking Brahma bowing to Buddha, emerging as a four-headed, four-armed creator of the world we find in poster art through a long journey of 2000 years where he is subordinate to Vishnu, subordinate to Shiva, and finally, one of the Hindu trinity. 